I'd nipped out for something to eat and I, I'm having to try and remember everything in my head all the time and I mean I can do a trainers that I rate top 50 in country but there were top 10 trainers that I've seen were that I've seen and I don't just mean Callum Smith going out there knocking a journeyman and me thinking god Joe Gallagher's brilliant because I look at what Joe Gallagher's, I've seen Joe Gallagher actually close up on pads and all that kind of thing but I don't judge people just on pads, I judge them on their overall careers now, I don't know what Martin Bowes has done with any other fighters, I put Mark Tibbs in there not just because he's a friend of mine and I respect him, I put him in there because he's not lost a fight with Richard Riaporte and, uh, and Dylan White has he, he's not been beat has he, right? not been beat. He was uh, doing a lot of work with Mark Tibbs, we saw with Jimmy Tibbs' his dad and Billy Joe Saunders. He didn't get beat, does he? And he wasn't getting hit when he worked with Tibbs. As. So I look at Mark Tibbs and he's come from boxing royalty, so I class him as going to be one of the greats, like his dad. His dad's already there, isn't he? But Mark will be one of the greats. Now, fair enough, he didn't win world titles as a boxer, but 22 and 2, it's not a bad record, is it? And he was a bit disillusioned with sport. But if he were around today, Mark Tibbs, what would he be doing now and what would he be getting a fight? He'd be a millionaire, wouldn't he? Not that he's short or a few quid anyway, but Mark Tibbs would be a millionaire if he were fighting today. But the reason I didn't put Joe Gallagher in is not because I don't like him, don't know him. I look at it like this, Joe Gallagher has had a generation of fighters from Manchester and Liverpool. And who has he turned into an elite fighter? Who's elite out of all them fighters he has had? Who is elite? You could put, uh, you, you, there could be a case for Liam Smith, Crawler, Quig, and Callum Smith. Callum and Liam, Crawler and Quig. They're the four world champions that he's had. That's it. Quig, well, he stepped up into the elite bracket, didn't he, with Frampton, who were elite at the time, he got beat. Quig won elite. Liam Smith, or oh, Quig's world title. Uh, Quigg's world title, he had a draw, didn't he, for world title, and they give him the belt after a draw. How does that work? You get a draw, and you're cutting your holding belt up, because they upgraded him the day before. I know, but when you win a world champion by email, that's shit, isn't it? So Quigg weren't elite. Liam Smith, he were a world champion, WBO, and I like Liam Smith now. Now he's come out and had a go about this KSI Logan Paul, th Logan Paul Reap 2 uh, thing on pay-per-view. I like Liam Smith. But you can't say Liam Smith's elite, can you? Losing to an elite fighter like Canelo don't make you elite. That's my opinion. Uh, but he got a world champion and, he, and he's a millionaire. Callum Smith, he's approaching elite, but he's not there yet. Callum Smith's beat Rocky Fielding, George Groves and Hassan and Dam. Beating them guys don't make you elite. Doesn't make you elite. And who was, the other, who was the other guy? Quig, Callum, Liam and Crawler. Crawler got his belt, didn't he? Uh, via default and seven defeats. You can't say Crawler's elite. He just navigated his way to a belt. So as far as I'm concerned, Joe Gallagher's the man that ruined the, ruined the generation of fighters. Well, I think he ruined Paul Smith. Paul Smith, right, whenever he was nailed on to win a world title when he turned pro. Everybody in the boxing industry wanted to sign Paul Smith. That is the bottom line. Somewhere along the line, with what he's said on Twitter and how he's behaved and things he's done, it's had an influence on him, I think, and you take a couple of wrong turnings and before you know where you are, you're fighting at wrong weight against wrong opponents at wrong time, in wrong arena, with wrong gloves. And, and blah de blah, it, it's easy done isn't it, Mate, easily done, so the Paul Smith one held on, so he's ruined, he had Maxlin, he had him, look what he did to Marcus Morrison, if you get him half killed he's not going to stop fighting is he Joel, so as far as I'm concerned, if my son were turning pro and Joe Gallagher's gym were over at road he wouldn't be going to train with Joe Gallagher, I'd send him 20 miles to Glen Road, Jim. That's how I feel about Joe Gallagher. If you've got a problem, Joe, come see me. Simple as. Come see me if you've got a problem with that. Now, so, Martin Bowers. I didn't put Martin Bowers in my top 10 because I've not seen him close up 
with my own eyeballs, I'm not seeing him. But he's done a fantastic job with Daniel Dubois. And when I went down to Peacock, he took me actually upstairs. So he took me upstairs and he gave me a goodie bag, a diary, a t-shirt and everything. And they were, oh, they've treated me brilliantly. Do you know what? I felt on top of the world when I left the Peacock gym. I felt on top of the world. It, I felt on top of the world and obviously I got there a little bit late, didn't I? Because I set off with plenty of time from Stig's, Stig's gaff. But uh, I got there late and Jimmy and Tibbs were just having some breakfast with his pals. And uh, they've got a good little, good little team of people down there. They're all Jim's age. I think they all play a bit of poker. Sat in the corner on a table. I think they're all like, you know, diamond geezers, them sort of types. All, you know, they've all probably grown up together in the 50s and 60s. And they all look like they've all got respect. And, you know, they don't swear around women and things like that. And they're very respectful. And they just treat me fantastic. It was one of the best days I've ever had in boxing. It was a highlight of the year for me to actually meet somebody who we've only seen on telly. And it was an hero of mine, a big hero. And I think how he, how he dealt with the Michael Watson thing were, were brilliant. Because Michael Watson, he came back after being robbed against Eubank and bashed Eubank from pillar to post. And it's the best performance I've ever seen of anybody in the British ring, but it's also one of the most tragic. And it was a punch that Eubank threw from the gods because he weren't even in the fight. And I think Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbs held himself with dignity and class through all that. That's, that's my opinion on that. And ever since then, I've always wanted to meet Jimmy Tibbs, and that for me were up there with meeting Frotch. Telling you, I'm getting a bit emotional there about meeting boxing people, but that's just what it can do to you, isn't it? That's just what boxing can do to you. I was a bit like that when I met Clinton, but when I met Jimmy Woods, uh, Jimmy Tibbs, who not a Clinton, but when I met Jimmy, it was fantastic. He's a really, really nice bloke. He's like somebody that you'd love to have as an uncle, isn't he? or a neighbour, or something like that. It's just, just genuine bloke. I just, what a genuine, genuine man he is. And do you know what? Where are all the genuine people in this industry? It's, it's died a death, hasn't it? It's dying a death. All the characters are going, aren't they? We're being replaced by. I don't know that guy sat next to Adam Smith. Who were commentating on that KSI fight were being replaced by him or Joe Makowski. Who the fuck is he? You know what I mean? If you swear in any of these videos, you don't get paid for them. You do know that, don't you, fellow YouTubers? One swear word and you're done. One swear word and you're done. All right. So just so you know, like I said, unfortunate, aren't I, that I don't need this to feed my feed myself and feed my kids on a weekend. Right, where's my other one out there? So, as far as I'm concerned, me and Jimmy Tibbs were highlighted here. Uh, my top 10 trainers. Martin Bowers, obviously, he's a good trainer. I want to see him train somebody else. And I want to see him. Uh, but then again, Mick Wales only trained. Josh only, but he's training Dempsey as well. I want to see more of him, but like I said, He's, the, he's up there, isn't he, Martin Bowers? And when end of year comes and I tot it all up, who's done what? And who's going to be my trainer of the year on Porky's Corner? Martin Bowers is definitely up there, isn't he, for what he's done with Daniel Debar. He's uh, fantastic. And shout out to David Adelaide. How are you doing, David? I hope you're well. Uh, I'll text you this morning, you'll see when you get back from training. I hope things are going well for you, David. Uh, you're welcome on the channel anytime. I hope things are going alright for you. With Frank Warren Promotions, whatever it's called, Queensbury. Uh, you will go all the way, trust me. You'll go all the way. But I know you're going to be good, David Adler, when I seen him and you were at it. My arms are in there. I seen him and Huey Fury sparring and I said, who's that there? And Frank Smith, not Frank with sports. Frank Smith says to me, at hit pro. Give me friend Frank Smith a follow. At hit pro. H-I-T-P-R-O. Good, good bloke, Frank. 72 year old. But all you wannabe gangsters out there. 72 year old. Never been in trouble in his life. He had an oldage company. 
I'm not going to go into detail, but he got done for, for drugs with Peter Fury. He got 10 year, and uh, Peter got 10 year. Frank Smith from Berry, he went, no comment, all the way through, no comment, no comment, no comment. And they were offering him all sorts of deals. No comment, no comment. Never been in trouble in his life. Got 10 year, lost his all his business and got a 65 grand fine. Did his sentence, got out. Peter did his sentence, got out. And they bought houses next door to each other. How's about that? That's him who got me my Mercedes. So, very good engineer, Frank. Top, top man. 72 year old, 73 year old. You might have seen him in that video at Christmas. Hey, now that to me is a staunch, staunch guy. They're the type of people that I want around me, all right? So, just letting you know. So can you give my friend Frank Smith a follow? At Hit Pro, yeah? Just tell him poor Big Porky says to follow you because he's one of the people that you can count on in life. Do you know what I mean? When... Uh, I ended up with that grill, that AMG grill for the front of my car, because it's an AMG model in it, but obviously it's not the C63, is it? It's the C220. But I ended up with that grill, it come all the way through from Berry and fitted it for me here. And it wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't take a penny off me. Then took me down here to KFC and picked Tab up, since it's already paid. Those sort of people I want with, around me, you know, when I went to Bulgaria. He just uh, sorted it out for tickets and everything like that and never asked for money in that and I ended up stopping at his night, night before we went to Bulgaria with Peter Fury and Yui, Dennis and them. And, he, and I said, what do I owe you? And he told me, but he never asked me once, so I'll sort that in a bit. Obviously I paid him, but it's not about money with Frank, it's about friendship and he's welcome at my house anytime, bum bum. He's one of them guys that you do a prison sentence for. You know what I mean? I've done prison sentence. I've done a prison sentence before and after something kept my mates out of it. Well, you know, you can do it and you can think, you know, do we like this? But you do it, don't you? And whether you speak to them people again or not, which I still do, but there's people I knock about with and I always think to myself, God, I'm glad I'm I'm glad I, I never did any jail for them, I'd want to kill them. Do you know what I mean? Well he's somebody that you, you won't mind doing a bit of shovel for, would you? You know, somebody like that who sits there like that. Never been in trouble in his life, and police are saying to him, Come on, Frank, tell us what's gone on, and you can walk, and he's like that. Hey? Ten years, and his son got six as well, six years. Hey? That's about that. So, that's a proper, 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 proper man. Not like a lot of you shit houses that are on here on social media. And you know who you are, the ones who keep sending me pictures of my children sliced up. Sending me pictures of my kids that you've took off. You know them couple of videos I've had of my kids on the channel, right? Couple, there's a couple of videos where me, me, my twins, Reggie and Ruby, have been on the channel. They've photographed it and, and messed about with pictures and sliced them up. The sort of people, are you? Hey, come and see me. Come and see me. Don't chat shit. Come and see me, because I'm in training, and I'm ready, I'm ready to let rip, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to kill him. So, let me try that down, what we've done, just a little warm up there before we go to Glynn's. Yeah, so they're the sort of people you've got to have around you. Good people. That's all you want, good people. You want good people around you.
personally I'd have put the original wheels on me, I wouldn't have these on. Not bad. Yeah, so we want good people around we don't we in life. We don't want you don't want rats around you do you? Fifty year old surrounded by rats. Eh? All the rats around me, what's all that about? Don't want rats near me. No, there weren't rats in here, and good people around you. No. no, it is what it is, isn't it? I'm running out of bleeding lights up here. Uh, but you know, want a neck show, isn't it? I mean, who's going to win fighter at year? Who we got down for fighter at year from England? Who would you have as fighter at year? Who? 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 Who's done good this year from Britain? Hey, who's done good from Britain this year? Who? Who? In a year where. We've got question marks over drug testing and how it's all done. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to work it, but... It is what it is, isn't it? It's, uh, Doing a few light weights like that, I'm okay, knackered now, just doing that. I've got to go Glens now, then do a 3-4 mile cardio later. Trust me, it won't be running, I can't run. Walking, but at least I'm honest, I'm not going to say I'm running it, I'm not walking. As long as I'm doing something to get the weight off, I'm alright, aren't I? See, I don't know if I'm going to be alright with this. See, this is solid, isn't it, for band. Uh, not bad that, but it'll uh I'm gonna take it for them. It's all good, it's all good positive stuff. Uh, so Shannon Briggs has ended up palling about with Logan Paul. Why? Well, he'll be filling his head full of... That's what he'll be filling Logan, Logan Paul's head full of. Now... Lal, uh, the Indian. I remember you. And we're going to sort your video out this week. Lal of the Indian, Goa Spice in Mexpra. That reminds me. That reminds me, mate. Uh, Yeah, I got your message, Lal. Uh, I spoke to Dennis and he said he's up for coming down to have a meal at your restaurant. And what I'll do, I'll just have a mooch about with camera and I'll just put it up on my channel, yeah? So people in the area 
can come to your restaurant. So, all right, mate. Uh, so, and I'll, I'll obviously I've tried your food, Anna, and you're a mate of Mix and John Wales, uh, John Joe Irwin, sorry, and Mick, and Mick Wales, mate. So, yeah, I'll do that. I'll come and see you this week sometime, man. I'll confirm a date with Dan. I haven't forgot about you, mate. All right, but can I just say that I don't have numbered or rice or chips or anything like that. I have like uh, like mince meat, stuff like that, curry, something like that. I love. All right. So don't have, I don't have anything that's got batter or anything like that. Cause I'm in training on for Spencer Fear. And all right, mate. Cheers. Uh. So it's all good, isn't it? It's all good, positive stuff. Positivity. Positivity on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we're shoving cocaine down our necks, aren't we? And telling everybody to F off. And falling out with anybody, everybody. You don't know what you're going to get with me, do you? But it is what it is. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen.